All right. Glad to have you back again. We stopped here in the last video. Okay. So we are going to move straight to solving the next task, coding uh, Fury Road. All right. So what are we supposed to do here? For the moment we have an um, empty project already to continually read me file, it's time to code. All right. Inside 0 times 0 one git, create these directories at the root of your project. So they want us to create these three directories. How do I create these three directories? You remember the code, um, the code to create directory? You remember that? MKDIR. So I'll just come here and of course be sure that you are in the 0 times 0 one git. Okay? So I'll click MKDIR to make directory. Okay? So what directory am I creating? What directory am I creating? Theory of this. The first one is what? Bash. I'm creating bash. I can create everything once, but okay, let's just do it once. Bash. The next one is C and the next one is GS. Alright. So once I do that, I'm going to click enter. So if I hit enter, so let's prove that we've successfully created those directory by LS listing files are directory. So yes, as you can see, we have bash C and GS as our created directory. So I believe you got this. Anytime you are missed, you can play back and watch again. So after we've created this theory directories, the next thing we're going to do right about now is to create these empty files. So you have them here. So let me throw more lights. Let me explain this further. This is the C uh, directory. So we are supposed to create file because C is phone.c under the C directory. So other than JS directory, we create a file called main.js. Other, uh, what is it called? JS again. We create a file called index.js. I believe you understand what we are talking about because that's what you're going to be doing right about now. Okay, so you ready? Let's do that. So, how do I create these files? And they are supposed to be empty files. Remember how to create empty files? First, it has to be on the C directory. So, let us cd into C directory. CDC, I hit enter. So you can see I'm in the C directory. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create that empty directory called C is found C. So what we'll do that, I'll say touch. Remember that? Touch to create an empty directory. So touch C is found C. So let me pick it from here, I'll copy that. Now paste it here. So paste C is phone.c. So if I hit enter, it has created that empty file. If I list C is phone, what if I cut to see the content of C is phone? Does it have any content? I don't think so. Nothing. It's a clean file, an empty file. So we have done that. So the next thing, other JS. So let me just see the away. I'm inside C directory right now so if i see do cd dot dot it will go back to zero times zero one dash git so if i hit enter you see i've gone back a step backward so into zero times zero one zero times zero one dash git so the next thing i'm going to do right now okay right now we have we are now in the gate so how do we move it to um js so if I do cd, remember I've created js directory, js, if I do js, I do enter. So if we have entered to the js directory and we want to create the file called main.js. Let me pick it from here, main.js, copy, and I come here, I do touch to create empty file. Remember that, you use touch to create an empty file, okay? Touch main.js, I hit enter. So if I list again, you see that we have main.js inside our JS directory, our JS directory. So since we've done that, they want us to, okay? After doing that, then you see the back to zero times zero one. See the dot dot, go back zero times zero one git. Then you do, um, you come back and do CD into the JS directory that we created. We have done this too, we are now here, JS. So, 
CDJS, I hit enter, I'm now in the JS directory. You can see that, okay? Prove that to you. If, if we do print working directory, you see? All right, we are now. So the next thing we are going to do, we are going to create index.js file inside the JS directory. So I'll copy this, I'll come here, I'll do touch to create an empty file. Always remember you use touch, create an empty file. So I'll put that in, and if I click enter, it has created. If I list, I have index.js there. All right? In that, I have in this dot js. Okay, so we have two files in js right now. I was thinking <laughs> we have two files. You see js, js. One of them is main dot js. The next is in this dot js. So we're supposed to have two files inside in this inside the js directory. So after doing that, the next thing we want to do right now, or they want us to do, is to create a file called ls inside the bash directory. Can you see that? We, are, we want to create a file. So this thing means, if they say bash slash ALS, it means a file inside bash directory with these two lines inside, okay? With these two lines inside. So let's do that. So I'm um, in JS, uh, we have to cd, or we have to cd dot dot to move back to zero times zero one, cd dot dot. Then I'll come here and do, uh, cd into bash so cd bash cd bash yes i'm now in the bash of course i'm now in the bash directory so what am i supposed to do i'm supposed to create this create a file called als then put two lines of two lines of code this is the first line and this is the second line so let's do that so how do we do that i'm going to be using vi vi all right so i do vi sorry i come here i do vi what is the name of the file remember alx so I'll come and name it alx if i hit enter it will take me to the to vi terminal so once i'm here uh, it is in the command mode for me to be able to write or type here i'll press insert i'll click on the i or button Insert. So what am I supposed to put in here? This is the first. So you can just pick it from here or you type it out. Let me just pick it from here. So I'll come here. I paste it in. All right. So that's the first line they want us to put there. You click enter. So the next one is what? The next one is echo ALS. So I pick this two. I come here. I paste it inside echo ALS. So that is the file, that is the content of that file we are supposed to put in. So once you are done, you do escape colon wq to save the content and then you quit. If I hit, hit enter, so so if I list the files inside here, you will see ALS. And if I cut ALS, cut the content of ALS. Is going to give me these two lines can you see that i believe you are following all right at any point you are confused you can you know replay this video my screen is getting filled. let me clear this out okay so yes so we are here now we are here so we have created that then create a file called what school inside bash we have created the ls inside bash so we want to create school called inside bash and uh, with these two lines so, remember what we are supposed to do? We do vi. There was the file name. They want us to call the file school. School. So, vi school. Then, what is supposed to be the content? Remember, you are here. You tap I. Always remember to tap I for you to be able to tap, uh, type. Insert. Insert. Tap, uh, click on I. So, once you have done that, then you put in the content. You copy this first one or you can type it out either way it's fine and um, put it here paste that's the first line you hit enter after you have done that then this is the second line you copy that and you come here you paste that in yes 
So that's the content of that. So once you have done that, you do escape, shift, column, WQ, done that, you hit enter, and you save and quit, save and exit. So all, and all of these new, add all of these new files to Git. Commit your changes with the message starting to code today, so cool. So what I'm gonna do right now is to do git add, git add dot, because I'm adding almost, I don't know, more than one file. So I want to add everything at the same time. So I'll hit enter. So after doing that, then I do git commit dash minus M, which is the message, commit message. So what is our commit message? This is it. Guys, you have to type, this have to be correct. So, just exactly, they want you to use this commit message. So, uh, the best thing to do is to be careful, carefully copy it out. All right? Copy it out, including the, yeah, you can, yeah, included in the, this uh, double quote. So, I'll copy this. I come here. I paste, all right? That's our commit message, okay? Git commit dash minus M, starting to code today, so cool. So once you are done, you hit enter. Okay, just hold on. Uh, git commit. Okay, um, let's type it out ourselves this time. That is what I'm doing right now. So, it's not supposed to give us all of this stress. So, if I hit enter, all right. So, that has committed. I just typed it out. That's the difference. Before I copied it, maybe, I don't know, maybe the, the test style on something was interruptive. I don't know. So, I just typed it myself in case you are wondering what I did, that it, it worked. I typed it out. I typed it out. So, after that, what I'm going to do now is to, after committing, then now I push. Git push. Git push. So if I hit enter, all right, it's going to push that. So let's see if we did that correctly. So this is it. Let's check. Let's check. Are you ready? So let's do a check-in. So it's running. Just hold on. Okay, oh, uh, yes, let's check, let's check. All right, the checks are running. All right, so it's all checked now, it's all checked. All right, so please go through this video step by step and you are going to understand what we did. So the next one is collaboration is the base of a company. So here, what are we supposed to do? A branch is like that. It's used mainly for this, all of this. So what they want us to do for this project, create a branch called update underscore script in this branch. Create an empty file named this. So let's create our branch. Let's create a, um, a branch. Let's create a branch. So, uh, by branching in Git, we are talking about having a branch, more like, of course, you know what a tree is, and a branch different from the main branch. Branch, you know, it's, it's something that is applied in, in Git, all right? So, that is what we are going to do right now. But before then, before then, let me, let me show you something. If I do git branch, git branch, git branch, you see, can you see this on, on green called master? So it is telling me that I, I have only one branch. I, I, I have only one branch, which is the master branch. All right, it's more like a default branch. So here, they want us to create a branch, another branch. All right, apart from this master branch, this is a default branch. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, 
is what I'm going to do is uh, come here and how do I create a branch? To create a branch, I'm going to do git. I'm going to do git branch. I'm going to do git branch. Then the branch name. And what name do they want us to use? Update script. So I'll copy this and come here, git branch, update script. I paste the branch name they want us to use. If I hit enter, so my branch has been created successfully. If I do git branch again to list the branches I have here, you will see that I have two branches now. The master branch and the reason one why is green is not far fetched and why this has uh, is green is because I am in the master branch all right and I have two branches here now master and update script so I've successfully created my new branch called what called update script I believe you understand that so what do they want me to do next uh, let me clear this so since I have done that, so here they want me to create an empty file named this in bash. Create a file named 98, an empty file under the bash directory. So um, before then, for the create a branch and in this branch. So friends, I am seeing the master branch. I am seeing the master branch. That is why if it's showing like this. Master is green. So let us entitled the branch we created so how do we do that we do git checkout there are two ways to do that you can use git checkout then you put in the name of the branch that you created git checkout switch to the branch of the script you can also use um, git switch it does the same thing. It will, it will produce the same result. Either git checkout or git switch. It will give you exact same result. So, can you see? Switch to branch of, to, uh, of this script. So, if I do git branch again to list the branches I have, you will see that git branch, you will see. Can you see this? That of this script, have, the color have changed to green and this asterisk is there. Now, that means. It's telling us that we are now in the update script. I have proven that to you, right? All right. So the next thing we are going to do is to create an empty file named 98 inside the bash directory. So I'm going to cd into bash, cd bash, all right? Create an empty file. To do that, of course, you use touch. We use touch. And... The file name is what 98, like they asked us to do. So I hit enter. All right, I've created that because if I list now, I have 98 included to what I've created before. So here they said the next one update uh, bash ALS by replacing echo ALS with this. So what are we doing here? We have inside the bash directory we have ALS so they want us to update the content of ALS so how do I do that I'm going to VI into ALX it will take me to VI terminal all right so this is the content I have here I, I click on I to insert to type in something I want to so replace the ALS we have echo ALS we want to replace with echo, uh, echo ALS school echo ALS school so I'll just copy this I'll come here after copying I'll remove this they want us to they want us to replace it with um, echo ALS school so I'll paste this echo ALS school. all right that has been done so after doing that I will escape column WQ save and quit i hit enter all right i hit enter so i'm out of there the next thing they want me to do is to update bash school in the bash directory go to school updated by placing echo school with echo the school is open so i'll come here and do vi school i'll do vi school okay so 
All right. So I'll tap insert. Remember, once you come here, you tap insert to enter the insert mode so that you can type. So replacing echo school with echo the school is open. So I'll copy this. I'll copy this and come here and paste. Echo the school is open. All right. That has been done correctly. So once you have done that, you do escape, shift, column, W, Q to save and quit. So you exit. And what are we to do next? Add and commit these changes with this, me with this message, my personal work. Okay? So since I've done that, I'm seeing the bash. I'm not going to um, commit in bash because... I made changes to other files, so I'll see the out. Just hold on. All right. Okay. So I do git add. Git add all. Git commit. Git commit. What is our commit message? That is my my personal work. My personal work. So I'm going to put that in. My personal work. All right. So after doing that, git commit my personal work. I'm going to click enter. Okay. Git commit. Git commit. I forgot a command dash m minus m. Then my sorry about that. My personal work. My personal work. So git commit dash m my personal work. Enter. All right. It has been committed. So the next thing I'm going to do right now, I'm going to push git push okay git push all right so i have pushed successfully let's see what happens okay so after that what am i to do next perfect you did an amazing update in your project and it's isolated correctly from the main branch all right Okay, just hold on. From the main branch. All right, while we were pushing, guys, I you can see, I noticed something here. The current branch up to date has no upstream branch. To push the current branch and set the remote as upstream, use git push dash dash set upstream origin of the script. So what they are saying is that our update script does not have a root in in the remote in the remote in github so to be able to push this we are going to do this so they gave us this suggestion so i'll just come here and copy this so i come here i paste it in all right so i hit enter all right so that has pushed successfully all right that has pushed successfully so since we have done that so what do we do next so let me clear my screen here what do we do next perfect you did an amazing update in your project and it's isolated correctly from the main branch oh wait your manager need a quick fix in your project need to be deployed now change branch to main main all right please notice main is same as master it's just change the words it is master here all right when you see master is same as main here so how do we so if i do git branch you see that we are still in the 
update script branch. We are seeing the update script branch. So how do we change to master branch? I told you there are two ways to do that. Git checkout master, or you are going to use git switch master. So either way it works. So I'll use git switch this time since I've tried master the last time. So I use git switch. I use git switch um, of the script. Sorry, we are changing to master. We are the branch is on. We are in the um, of the script branch, so we are changing to master. So git switch master. So once I press that, I hit enter. So you see, switched to branch master. So your branch is up to date with origin master. So we have changed. So if I do git branch now, if I do git branch. You see, it has changed. The color of master have changed, and the asterisk is now master. So we are the master. We have done this. So perfect. Change to uh, the main branch. I told you main is same as master. Update the file bash slash ALS by replacing this with this and that. that, that. So um, we go to we see the into bash. And what do they want us to do? Okay, we VI into ALS by replacing echo ALS, echo ALS with echo ALS school is so cool. So I'm just gonna copy this. Copy and I come back here. I tap it SAT to enter it to a SAT mode. And I removed what is here before now and paste. Paste. Echo ALS school is so cool. It's so cool. So once I've done that, I will I will do escape colon WQ to save and quit. So what are we to do next? Delete the directory JS. So we are going to delete directory JS. So let me first move out of bash into, uh, let me see the backward away from bash. All right. So, okay, I've seen it out of, I've seen it out of bash. So let me move. They want us to delete JS. It's a directory, not a file. Remember, for you to delete a file, you use ROM, then the file name. Whereas, if I say ROM JS, it will not work. Cannot, because JS is a directory. How do I delete a directory? I'll use ROM minus R. We are deleting recursively. R starts for recursive and JS. All right? So delete the directory JS. If I hit enter, you say, and if I list, you see J out is gone and gone for good. So commit your changes with the message hotfix and push to the origin. All right, and push to the. We are now in the. We are in the master branch now. So, uh, so I commit git add first dot. Then git commit. Minus M. What are we committing with? Hotfix. Then git push. All right, it's pushed successfully. It's pushed successfully. So after that, we run our checks. I believe you are ready for this right now. I believe you are ready. So let's check the code together. All right, let's check. So, all right, so you can see it's all checked. Why I'm showing you this, I'm actually demonstrating the project, doing it from scratch so that you can understand how it works, all right, how it works. So I'm going to close this and move down 
to the next one. We are almost done. We are almost done. To the next one. Collaboration be up to date. Of course, you can also work on same branch and that that that. Uh, for this task and only for this task, please update your file readme in the main branch from github.com. It's the only time you can allow to update and commit from um, GitHub interface. So what we are to do, we go to GitHub. That's what they want us to do. All right, let me. So we go to GitHub. Uh, let me refresh this. Let you see what we have here. All right, so you see we have done quite much. Hotfix and the rest have been pushed here. All right, so. Uh, just a second, let me be sure of what we are doing. Okay, please update your file readme.md in the main branch. Okay, so we are in the main branch or master. Main master, same, like I said earlier. So we are in the main branch. So they want us to update the readme file. So you see, let me expand this. This is the readme file. So update. Update to what? I'll click this fancy icon. So once I click that, all right, I can update the README. So update to what? Just anything. Just make changes to update it. So I'll do my first README updated. That's just um, what you need. That's fine. So after doing that, I'm go down here and come here and do commit changes. So I'll commit the changes that are made in master branch. Take note, we are in the master branch. So I'll do commit changes. Mm. Commit changes. So what are we committing with? Updated, updated, uh, readme.md updated readme.md alright I want that to be our commit message so commit changes alright so it's done we have done that so after doing that what next what next since we have done that the next thing I are going to do now After you have done that in your terminal, go get all changes of the main branch locally. So they want us to get the changes we've made into, we updated something from our GitHub account. They want us to have it in our local computer. So how do we go about that? How do we go about that? So we get back to our, our command line interface. Let me clear. So we'll get back to our command line interface and what we are going to do here is how do we get that? So we are going to use a command called git pull to pull what we have over in the uh, remote into our copy. We make changes, we make changes just now to the readme file. So to pull it, we do git pull git pool origin master because we have two branch we have to specify where we are pulling from is it the update script branch or uh, the master branch so we are pulling from master git pool origin master so if I hit enter you see showing this uh, plus two show that it removed something and I added something so it has pushed it has pulled the file, all right? Git pull have done that. So after that, what do we do next? Create a new file up to date at the root of your directory and in it, write the git command line used, all right? So um, here, they want us to create a file at the root of this git. Please, take care. 
uh, pay attention carefully. We want us to create a file in 0 times 0, 01 git directory. That's the root of our directory. So, uh, and is it an empty file? No, they want us to put in a content of what we use to git pull. So I'm going to do um, vi. What is our file up to date? Up to date. That's the name of our file. So vi up to date. Up to date. So if I hit enter, it takes me here. I tap his site to type. And what command did I use to do that? The command used is git pull. You remember what we used to pull the changes from GitHub into our local machine just now. Git pull origin master. Git pull origin master. So I do escape column. That's the command. Column wq to save and quit. So after doing that, I exit and quit. So create a new file that and write the command. Add update script to git, then commit, commit with this message and push to the origin. All right? And push to the origin. First, let's know the branch you are in. Git branch. All right? We are in the master branch. We are in the master branch. All right? So, what do they want us to do? Add up to date to git commit with this message so I'll add git add all basically so commit git commit with what message the git the commit message is how to be up to date in git commit message is git commit minus m how to be up, up to date in git so if i click enter how to be yes all right so i'll do git push git push yes that's pulled successfully to the master branch so yes i've done this we have solved this task so can we check can we check all right Let's do that. So, if you are following, please, if you are confused, always replay this video. Always replay it. I, I, I took my time to do it one step at a time. It's check correctly. Can you see that? One step at a time so that you can understand how this project works, how it works. So here, how, what did you do? Collaboration is cool. To illustrate this, please merge the branch up to date to main all right so we want to do that my changes will now be part of the main branch so we want to merge the branch up to date to main we want to merge up to date to main cool all of my changes will now be part of the main branch ready to be deployed so let me clear here it's becoming too messy clear clear okay so we want to merge we have two branches like we know git branch git branch two branches all right and right now we are in the master branch that is the one that is colored colored green we are in the master branch so what we want to do right now we want to merge master to update script want to merge both branches together so come here how do we do that we do we are in the uh, master branch so we do git merge git merge git merge then uh, what branch am i merging with the master branch what branch am i merging with the master branch I'm merging of this script branch with the master branch. So I, t I put in paste the branch. I paste that that I'm merging with the master branch. So if I hit enter, so auto merging conflict. Auto merging conflict. So 
person. So this is it. We are in order. What, this is exactly what they want us to get. This is what they want us to get. So automatic merge fade, peace conflict, and they commit the result. So conflict, merge conflict in this, this, this. So we have a conflict. So you see, conflict. Exactly the same here that is here. Merge conflict in zero times the git bash alx. All right. As you can see, you have conflict between two branches on the same file. Okay. Your goal now is to resolve conflict by using the version of the branch of, of the script and push the result to the origin. All right. Your goal now is to resolve conflict by using the version of the branch of the script. So let us. What we are going to do now, we are going to git switch, git switch. You can use git switch, like I said earlier, you, have, you can also use um, git, git checkout. So it does the same thing. Git um, switch, we want to switch to the update script branch. All right, so if I hit enter, mesh conflict. Okay, so yeah, cannot switch branch while merging. Consider git merge, quit or git with that data. So your goal now is to resolve conflict by using version of the and then push the result to the origin. At the end, you should have all your work from the branch, new file, and two updated files, at least main commit, new files, delete for the etc without conflict. So where do we have conflict? Where do we have conflict in this file? So I'm going to do uh, VI. We have conflict in bash. We have conflict in, no, sorry, bash is, we are going to cd into bash first. This is a directory. cd bash. cd bash. So, yes, we have conflict in bash and in the file. ALX. You know we have a file in bash called ALX. So there's a conflict in this ALX file inside the bash directory. I hope you understand that. So um, I'm going to do VI VI ALX. Alright. So as you can see you see this arrow and this equal uh, long equal to sign shows there is conflict. All right, so we have to manually resolve this conflict. Since I'm here, I'm going to tap I to type so to manually resolve the conflict. So I just come here and remove this. All right, just. Watch carefully as I do this. Okay, so I'll remove this. Okay, then I come here. Yes. This file, like you know, is supposed to have two um, lines. And this is the recent line we added. Echo ALS school is so cool. So this is the old one we had. This is the old one we had. We are going to remove the old one. We are going to remove the old one. All right? So that we will maintain the same two lines we have. So I will remove all of this. I'll remove all of this. So once I've done that, I've maintained my two line and I have done edited and removed the conflicted conflicting files. So I'll do, do escape colon wq right and quit. I'll right and quit. So after doing that, what they want us to do here is to at the end, you should have all your work from branch, 
new file updated and all letters may commit. So I'm going to do <laughs> git add. So guys, I'll do git add, git add, dot to add everything. Then git commit, git commit, I'll use update. Is there any special commit message we have to use? I don't think so. I'll use update. Special commit to re emerge. So git merge. Commit. Okay. Um, let me see the back. Git commit minus m update. Okay, I think I did add that. Git commit minus m update. All right, so it is committed now. So if I do git merge. All right, it's made. So what they want us to do now, at the end of it, all your work from... So um, we have successfully resolved the conflict. So we have resolved our conflict. You can look through. At any point you are confused, play this video again. So the next thing we want to do now is to push to um, the origin. And what they want us to push is you're gonna have to resolve coming by using the branch here and push to the origin the branch this so we are i'm going to type git git push upstream i'll just use u stand for upstream then origin sorry origin origin then was the name of our branch of the script so I'll copy that I'll paste it here all right origin of this of the script okay so once I've done that then at the end you should have that that, that. so it's we have done that already so let me clear here it's becoming messy so after doing that we can simply come here and check what we have let's see all right so well we have a little error let's see what it is um see details Content of bash school is updated. Okay, okay, let's see. Okay, CD, CD bash. Then school, let's VI school. I believe that's supposed to be the content of that file. I believe that is supposed to be the content. All right, welcome. Let's check. Let's check again. Uh, we having one error in that file, so I'll just come back and do start a new test. All right, so it's all checked correctly, all checked correctly. What I will say at this point is that ensure that after you merge, push both, I did git push, um, dash minus uh, yeah, u upstream, then of the script. After you push that, switch back to the main branch. Git switch, do git switch, uh, master. Switch back to master branch. After you switch, then do git push for master also. 
So basically, you are pushing both uh, up to date and master to the upstream. All right. So once you have done that, everything will check, guys. Everything is going to check. And if you have question, the comment section is there. You can always comment. You can always ask that in the comment section. So we have done this correctly, and we just have one more to go. Are you ready? Let's just work on this right about now. So the last file we have to create. It said create a dot, dot git ignore file and define a root of push uh, underscore files generated by a, a image. So I'll come here, I do vi, the file name is what dot git ignore dot git dot git ignore dot git ignore. So after doing that, it, um, I'll hit enter. So it take me to VI terminal. So I'll hit I to type. So how do I, what is the content of this file? So since we are pushing a file that the file root will never push um, this file. Please, uh, you can man um, the git ignore, uh, git ignore, you can do more research to find out what it is. Um, let me just quickly, because time is already fast spent, so I need to just complete this uh, task. So uh, for our .git ignore file, we don't want to push all file associated with this symbol. So how do we escape that? I'm going to do, we are going to do, uh, type that symbol and we use the white card. All right, use the white card. So let's see what, how it goes. Skip, colon, WQ. So let me git add, git commit, git commit, minus m, our message is uh, dot git ignore. Then git push. Let's see what we have. All right. Let's see what. All right. So, congratulations. If you have been following from the beginning, you see that we started this um this tutorial from the scratch, right? And here we are doing everything within our power to get it done. And we are done, congratulations. All have been checked correctly. I did this time, uh, this time to read time and everything is checked. So you can follow through. If you are confused, please play back. If you have anything to ask, please drop it in the comment section, I'll be there. All right, thank you, I'll see you in the next tax. This was exciting and I hope that you continue doing this. Let's see in the next tax. Thank you and see you in the next video.